these silhouettes coming through the windows are some of my favorite things every day. Hey guys, Eric here. How y'all doing? Beta Day 5, I guess. Not really in the best spirits today. Um, tomorrow's my birthday, and that's got me feeling all kinds of introspective. How, um, I haven't gotten all the things I wanted to do in the last year done. How my situation hasn't improved as much as I would have liked. Oh, the things missing in my life. And how I haven't, I guess, achieved them yet. <laughs> It's gonna be feeling a bit somber, but uh, either way, a video's gotta be made today, so let's talk. Nick from Instant Replay Live left a message on my video about um, feeling paralyzed by being overwhelmed by all my projects. Um, and in his comment, he talked about keeping in mind the scope for uh, for this project, right? You know, what exactly am I trying to achieve, and just try to remember that, right? Um, what's the real goal of Veda? And I think I finally figured out what that is for myself. And I think for me right now, it's about getting down my process, figuring out a more efficient way to do, um, to make videos, right? How can I get video making down to a science that I could reasonably make it in one single day? And I got a couple ideas on how to go about that. I think the biggest thing I can do is think about my editing process. You know, try to, I guess, start from the get-go my video making process in a way that will cut down on the editing time. Right now that seems to be the biggest, I guess, thing that holds me back a lot of times, the biggest hiccup in, in the process. Uh, because I don't really shoot in the most efficient way. I don't have editing in mind when I first start shooting. First thing, like we're talking about, going back to scope again, I think one of the biggest things I can do to cut down on the process is to keep the scope of the story I'm trying to tell in any one video down to a reasonable size. I think simple video length uh, contributes a lot to the, uh, the length of my editing process. And a lot of times I find that I, I wind up telling stories in two parts. There's a long extensive part that needs to be set up to provide the context for the actual story we want to tell. And that context winds up being almost the length of a video in and of itself. Ideally, I think a video for me, I'd like to have about four minutes, maybe five. After that, I feel like I'm kind of pushing it. So by keeping the scope in mind of what I want to say in each video, I think I can make it easier to produce and also keep it um, at a reasonably contained, I guess. There's a better word for that, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Another idea for what I can do comes from Nikki Anna. I watched her beta video about process and I got some ideas from my own. She talked about recording every sentence, a sen uh, every sentence in her video a sentence at a time and then stitching them all together. And while she didn't seem like she was very fond of the editing method, I think I can adapt that to something that would be useful for myself. Because a lot of times when I'm shooting a video, I'm kind of writing as I go, and so I have these kind of long, long takes of me stumbling over the words as I invent the wording there on the spot. And I do it by just trying to say the sentence over and over again in different ways until I finally have the wording that feels right. I think uh, last video was the first experiment with this, and I just kind of shot like one sentence at a time. Small chunks, definable chunks, and I ch rehearsed it a little bit before actually turning the camera on itself. And so I just got the one good delivery of the one small containable piece that I could keep in my mind at one particular time, without extensive, I guess, uh, repetitions, and then cut the editing there. That way I didn't have to peruse this long chunky five-minute video of me saying the same line over and over again and picking out which one I wanted. And then you have to... Uh, the editing's more intensive to try to cut it out of that chunk rather than just, you know, like a more traditional movie. You know, each take is relegated to its own shot. <laughs> which I think helped a, long, uh, helped a lot in editing uh, yesterday's VEDA video. The big thing I'm trying to learn is to operate more efficiently, do this at a more reasonable rate. And while I'm feeling like I really need to put video making on the back burner of my life right now and focus on things that'll get me farther, I think a lot can still be gained in trying to, I guess, innovate within myself these more efficient production methods. So that's what we're going to try to do. Kind of start doing these more efficiently, I think. 
Seems like a reasonable goal. Although I think a lot of days we're just gonna have to do it like this. I don't spend enough time thinking about how to organize my stuff. Like, in a real film shoot, like, people have hundreds of hours of footage, right? You know, some things have to be, you know... You can't just pour through all those hours every time you want to pick out a right shot, right? You kind of have to cut some corners somewhere. You gotta have a plan to make that bulk of footage manageable to operate with. And I really haven't been doing that, I think, as far as my filmmaking goes. And I really need to start having that more in mind in the future. That's what we're going to try to get down.